four months and he still hasn't paid. Can't you make him send the bill? How? I don't know. Threaten him. Send him court papers. You know we can't take him to court. He owns Stephen Holdings. They could just about fabricate anything they want to make it look like my fault. I swear, if they don't start paying you, you might as well just quit. And where would that get us? I don't know. Vince, we can't let people walk over us like this. Your business is essentially crumbling. And there aren't many people who could employ a secretary with no qualifications who works entirely from home. I know, I know. We'll figure something out. Let's just not go down that route yet. But what if we have to? I know it's not the nicest possibility, but I'm worried. The deal with Stephen Holdings will fall through if we take them to court, and they'll cut us off completely. And if we do nothing, then we miss out on $6,000. Who knows what they're going to do to us next if we take another job? As if I needed anything else to worry about. Hi, Dad! It would be nice if you told me you were back, but I guess panicking with Mom is a priority over your one kid who can actually talk to you. Amber Farley. Her payback is way overdue. And believe me, she owes me a lot. How to ruin her? I'm sure there are plenty of ways. Let's start with what she's done wrong. Well, for starters, she went for Liam straight after we broke up and probably gave him some weird love potion because he never even looked at her before he broke up. Or did he? Maybe they were flirting all along. Right under my nose. Could it? Did she? No, she couldn't have. But it's a possibility. Did she have something to do with the breakup? Did she? Tell him other things about me. The last time I cheated, he was. I was. The situation was different. I was different. Did Amber make him different? Why did that girl do? Morning, Katie. You're ready early. It's not like you. Yeah, I'm catching a ride with Jonah. Is this a new boyfriend? Liam's old news, I see. Ew, no. It's Scarlett's brother, remember? Oh, that's his name? I always thought he was called Julian for some reason. Uh, nope, well, like, I gotta go. Bye, Mom. What did you have for breakfast this morning? Uh, just some oatmeal. I really have to go now, Mom. So, bye. That's funny, because I had the last packet of oatmeal yesterday. So, what did you really have? I had, um... Katie, why are you lying to me? I... I had a Pop-Tart, okay? I lied to you because I didn't want you to get mad at me, and I know Pop-Tarts are full of sugar and fat and have the nutritional value of a pillowcase, but... We haven't bought Pop-Tarts for weeks. And don't try to pin this on me, because you know perfectly well I wouldn't be mad at you for that. Heck! Eat 20 Pop-Tarts a week. I don't care. But I am mad that you're lying to me. You don't think I notice when you start this shit again? You think I'm stupid? Oh my god, Mom. Seriously, I'm fine. You promised me, Katie. You promised me you'd talk to someone if you felt like this. You promised me you wouldn't have to step foot in that god-awful hospital again. Mom! Do you have any idea what it's like being in a room with a random therapist just sat there, writing down everything you say and judging the hell out They're of you? not judging you. The world does not revolve around you, okay, Katie? They write things down because that's their damn job. And if you really can't handle that, then talk to me. I'm your mother for crying out loud. You don't care. Of course I care. Uh, yeah, right. The only person you give a damn about is Libby. I can't stop you starving yourself again. And every time you walk out that door, I'm terrified that one day you'll go too far and I'll I'll never see you again. If you can't think of how you're hurting yourself, then think about how you're hurting me. And your dad, and Libby. She would never understand what... If, if you... Your, your dad and I, we'd... We'd know. But the word anorexic means nothing to Libby. And to her, you'd just be gone, and she wouldn't know why. So just think very carefully about what you're doing.
Hey Tia, mind letting me help with your math homework? I'm sure I could do a much better job. Get lost. Oh, feisty. But seriously, if you ever need any help... What the hell? I did warn you. I said get lost, but that's what happens if you don't listen. You know, it's kind of funny how you assume you have the same power around here that you did before. People don't tend to take you that seriously after what you did. I'm only going to say this one more time. Get lost. Before I slap you so hard, I might actually hurt your ego as well as your face. I told you she was crazy. I guess now we can see for ourselves what too much Gucci bamboo does to your brain. What? You gonna slap me too, princess? Should I get myself an ice pack in preparation? I can't do this, Scarlet. I can't cope. I want to strangle everyone who's talked to me today. People are staring at me like I'm something out of a horror movie or a mental asylum. People used to respect me, want to be me, or at the bare minimum like me. And now, look at me. I'm nothing. Good morning. You don't really do listening, do you? Sure, I can do listening. I'm just not so good at saying stuff that helps. <laughs> To be honest, the only thing that would help me right now is a time machine. Unfortunately, I can't promise you one of those. But if you had one, what would you change? Isn't it obvious? <laughs> I'd have done my math homework like a normal person would and said no to Dan. Then probably exposed him for a laugh. Exposed him? Yeah. Exposed. I've had an idea. Meet me at the usual place, after biology. Wait, Scarlet! I'll tell you later, I have history. Hey, Amber, wait up. Oh, hey Liam, sorry I didn't notice you there. Oh, no, it's fine, I uh, just wanted to ask. What, is something wrong? No, no, I uh... Amber, on Friday, that was a date, right? In your opinion? Look, maybe I'm being paranoid, but did you mean it when you said you like me back? Or was that just, I don't know, feeling the awkward silence that you knew was gonna come? Yeah, it was a date. We've already had this discussion, remember? And I meant it. I still do. I like you a lot. What brought this on? Is this just because I insisted we go halves? Because I didn't want to offend you, I just don't think it's fair how the guys no, always expect to pay it's and more than that. I'm trying to gauge where we're at. I mean, would it be so weird if, because let's be honest, you've heard it, I've heard it. When people ask what's going on with us, we don't have to make up some excuse. Or are you not comfortable with that yet? No, it's not that. Do you think I'm embarrassed to be seen with you or something? Because I'm really not, if that's what you're thinking. I guess, having dated Tia, you'd think I was some... I don't know. I know what I'd think anyway. I'd think, why am I nervous and fumbling over my words? I'm supposed to know this kind of stuff. I shouldn't need to ask this, I just... know. You know? I get it, Liam. I really do. Your last relationship didn't exactly end well. And it makes sense to talk about it. It's just... I would have asked sooner, but it's about Tia. If she saw us or heard what people are saying about us, she wouldn't take it well. Well, of course she wouldn't. I don't think seeing her ex moving on with someone else would put a smile on her face. Amber, look, I'm actually worried about how she's going to take it. It's not that I'm backing out of this or anything. I, uh, I just... I guess you've heard about how she had a few problems in the past. Like, what? Well, she was in a really bad place, mentally, with her sister and all. What about her sister? Did something bad happen? I don't know if she'd want me to tell you this, but it's not like it's private or anything, and it's nothing for Tia to be ashamed of. You don't have to. I trust you, okay? Just don't make a big deal out of this. She doesn't like people to talk. Her little sister Libby is disabled. She's 11, and she uses a wheelchair, and she can't walk or talk or feed herself. 
She's really sweet. I always saw her when I went to Tia's house. She couldn't say my name quite right, so they all just knew me as Eam. It sucks, because I think her parents have always given a lot more attention to Libby than to Tia. I get that she needs extra help with a lot of things, but for pretty much all her life, Tia's just been this afterthought. I'm sure you've noticed how she doesn't really eat most of the time. Yeah, that's really unhealthy. But I don't imagine that's just because of her sister. Well, as a kid, people bullied her a lot for having a disabled sister more than anything, and her parents don't really focus on her achievements, but yeah, I think she probably had some mental illness anyway. She'd go to hospital for weeks sometimes. I'm just worried that I'll push her over the edge. That when she finds out we're seeing each other, she'll go back to that bad place. God, she never told me that. Yeah, I'm not surprised. She never wants pity. Attention? That's different. But she doesn't want to be just seen as this object of sadness. Do you get where I'm coming from now? Yeah, she seemed kind of torn apart after the breakup. I just don't want to make things worse. I get it. And I promise I won't repeat any of that to anyone. It's really nice that you trust me, and I don't want to ruin that. I'm sorry for worrying about everything. Look, I promise I don't still have feelings for her, if that's what you're thinking. But I just don't want to cause any more damage than I already have. Hey. You don't have to apologize. It's better to go into this carefully than to rush things. I guess I should maybe be a bit more careful considering how weird everything was with Jack. You look like you've seen a ghost. How long have you been worried about Tia's reaction? Not gonna lie, I've been thinking about it for a while. The other day on the bus, I saw Tia outside the window. She was kissing Jack. A lot. So, I could be wrong, but I don't think she's too cut up about it. I think she's moved on, as well. Uh, is that it? Are you even bothered? No, we're broken up now. She has the right to kiss whoever she wants. I'm not mad at her, it's just predictable by now. It's kind of embarrassing to admit, but before Dan, there were other guys she cheated on me with. I guess it's just her coping mechanism for when things are not going well. Find the nearest guy's willing and just go from there. So, I'd say she's not doing too well. Did she do that a lot? Enough to make me question why I put up with it. I was a pushover. I'd get angry at her, and she'd say she'd never do it again, and I knew she was lying, but I let it slide, essentially. I was stupid. I'd wanted to break up with her for ages, but I was just worried about what would happen to her. I saw how bad she got when I was mad at her, and it made me feel like her mental illness was all my fault. I became her therapist instead of her boyfriend. It was toxic, it was unhealthy, it was all these things I didn't want to admit, but I'm telling you now because I I want us to be honest with each other. I'm... I don't know what to say. I'm really sorry you had to deal with that. You didn't deserve it. And you're not being stupid, you just thought you could help her. I really like you, Liam, and... I really like you too. I like you because even though you have every reason to dislike Tia, you're so respectful of her. I'll admit it, when I first joined the school I thought you were just a dumb jock. Yeah, most people seem to get that vibe. It's okay, I don't blame you. But you're so much more than that. You're caring and intelligent, and I wish I was more like you. What do you mean? I mean... I was horrible to Tia. And now I've heard everything you've told me. I think I've done something really bad. <laughs>